Let's start this discussion on datasheets by clicking on New Datasheet in the directory area. Datasheets in iRise represent the ability to use data within your simulations. Within iRise you can grab, insert, edit, and delete records as well as use data for other functionalities that you would normally use in web applications. Datasheets try to simulate how a database might be used in an iRise simulation. Datasheets are represented in iRise as spreadsheets. Complete records are represented by the rows in the datasheet, and each field of a record is represented by a column. Let's rename our datasheet by right-clicking on the datasheet and choosing Rename, and we're going to name it Contact List. Then we're going to give it two columns of data. We're going to rename the first column Email, and the second column Reason. You can enter your data manually by just typing in an email and a reason, let's say newsletter. Enter another record, Bob at hotmail.com. His reason might be business question. However, if you have a CSV file or can put existing data into a CSV file, you can also import that existing data into an iRise datasheet by clicking on the import CSV file and then let's go to our episode 15 assets area and choose data sheets and choose contact list.csv and click open now we have more records that were already created that we can just automatically import and use within our iRise simulation also once you're at a specific point in your simulation where you might want to export the data that you've been simulating you can do that as well by using the export CSV button the one thing that you cannot do in iRise is connect data sheets to each other like you would in a database. However, if you do have database knowledge, you can mock up different data sheets to act as if they were connected. So that's a quick overview of data sheets in iRise. Thanks for flying in to mockflock.com.